Okay, so, welcome to Kerbal Space Program. I don't think I need to actually explain what this game is, but in case I do, it's a game where you fly in space. Well, not really fly in space. It's a game where we build ships, and I have no idea what I'm doing. That is the fun of it all. <laughs> okay, you know what? Got it. I don't care. I don't know what I'm doing. That's the whole point of this game. So, we gotta first pick out our pod. Let's see here. So there's plenty of things, because this game is very focused on actual physics and aerodynamics. So, let's see, we've got the command pod here. We can hold only one person. We can hold three in this command pod. Man, that's a huge weight difference. So our mass is, of course, going to be 2.1 T. That's tons, I guess. Uh, inline cockpit. So the question is, what should I pick? Uh, I want to be able to fit more than one person. Uh, you know what? I have no idea what I'm doing, so we're going to start with just one person. That's all we're going to have here. Okay, wait, hold on. This fits perfectly. How much does this weigh? 2.25 tons. Liquid fuel, 180. Oxidizer. I don't know how much that really means. Because I don't know what I'm doing. Um, let's put, I guess, three of these. Because I should have fuel. If I want to get out of space, I think that's kind of important here. Okay, uh, command, let's see, engines. Engines are going to be important if we want to fly, I think. This is massive. Like, holy crap. You know what, I actually kind of want to just see how that would work. I, I don't know how this will work. I need some stabilizers, because aerodynamics is important. There's no way you're going to fly otherwise without them. So, it's going to almost make it into a plane, I think. I don't think I need that big of a... Uh, let's go with this. Stick this thing on there. See what it does. That's how science works, after all. We're going to stick a random body in there. Hopefully it doesn't have any family or next of kin. Let's see how this actually happens to fly, I think. Here's gyro... Do these things have gyroscopes? Inline stabilizer. Oh, hello. The advanced inline stabilizer module contains a larger, heavier array of reaction wheels. These, spinning, these spin very quickly to create torque without wasting propellant. These larger wheels are driven by proportionally larger electronic motors, so keep an eye on your electricity level. Hmm. Like, I want to get this part. Or one of these parts here. There we go. Okay, there. Aha! Maybe now that'll work. We'll see. One of these days, darlings, I swear we'll get off into space. <laughs> We're gonna leave the underground, darlings, I'm gonna take every one of you off onto a fabulous cruise with me. I'm sure you'll love it. I'm gonna try this first just to see if maybe this will work. Because maybe with that stabilizer, that might make things work. I just want to see how this will fly or not fly. I guess we'll see in a second here. And up we go. I want it. Is it, is it going to... Do I have to do something to get that thing to... Whoa! Okay, that is definitely not stabilizing for anything. Or maybe I need that more in the center. Okay, revert. I might at some point try to just crash it just to see what it does. This is a bit of a ponderous situation, I'd say. I ponder, I ponder more. What do we do in order to get this stable? Okay, you know what? This thing is... I think this is the best part of what we've got here right now. Um, if I can figure out how to select this again. Okay, keeping that. Daily! We're getting rid of that. Let's build this again from the ground up. Let's add more fuel. That's pretty heavy. Yeah, you know, I think these were the mids, and... Let's just go with this pencil one here. Get a couple of these now. Bumper solid fuel booster. I don't think that's what I'm looking for either. Filled with a new, even more volatile fuel, the BACC offers semi-reliable performance at a good price. Well, semi-reliable, that's helpful. Let's see, is this... Well, that fits. Okay, we've got the stabilizer up here. You know what? I'm going to add a second stabilizer, just to see if maybe that'll help. And I'm just going to try again to... 
go with this. I wonder if maybe if I have more mass on the sides, but then I would need bigger engines. I don't know if I've got what I need to do that. Okay, you know what? This is tiny. Let's take it out and see if this works or not. Okay, is this gonna work? Well, that was a huge disappointment. Not enough thrust. I'm like, I have this feeling this is not gonna work, but I also have this feeling that I should let it happen either way. I mean, old Jebediah, you know, he's lived a long time. I- oop, stay there. I'm sure you won't mind crashing into the earth in a very horrible and painful accident. I certainly wouldn't mind him crashing into the earth in a very horrible and painful accident. Well, I'm gonna roll with what we've got here, though. Cause I just wanna see what happens. And I wanna just let this go... All crazy, hopefully, in a second here. That- well, Jebediah is going all crazy done. Oh, there he is. And we're up! And it's actually flying straight. Now, my fuel is dying, like disappearing, like mad. I love Jebediah's face down there. Though. He's like, <laughs> nope, and whoa, whoa, it's like flipping around. This might be entertaining in the moment here. How many meters did we make it? Because we're still going up. Holy crap. I am going to come down crashing like a lawn dart. This is going to be entertaining when this happens. Oh my. Apparently I need bigger... I can't believe though, I actually made it. Okay, there we go. 21.5 and like 600, something like that. Toggle map. There we go. Uh, question is where... Oh, that's where I'm going to crash. Right there. That's going to be great to see. Let's keep, keep an eye on it. Oh. Oh no, now now it's not wanting to stabilize. One still a step for Metaton, darlings. One glorious step for fabulousness in space. I can't so here's the part that I'm not understanding. Aerodynamically speak well Wouldn't Wouldn't it aerodynamically make more sense that this part would be or yeah, you know, like this part would be what's uh pointed down? I don't know. I don't know aerodynamics, darlings. What do I know? I'm just a robot. <laughs> yes, going bottom up indeed. That's just... And Jebediah looks like he's having fun too. That's the face of someone who knows he's going to die. And... Impact! <laughs> and he survived?! Darlings, he survived! How in the world did he do that? Is there a way I could get him out of there? Scratch. Uh... Eva. There we go! Uh... Jump. Let go. One small step for Kerbal Kind. Look at him waddle there. He's got such a cute little face with the boogly buggy eyes here. Okay, so our first... Successful-ish... Flight. I think that we have had a definitely great success there. Now the question is, where can we go from there? Uh, well, first off, we need to get rid of pretty much everything except for that. And the wings. The wings are actually kind of useful too, but we'll still get rid of them for right now. Okay, so this is going to add some weight, but, well, no, that's pretty freaking... we will go with size. How about we sort it by size? There we go. Right? No. Probably need a cockpit. Okay, that makes more sense. Alright. Now we got ourselves a nice big cockpit. Well, let's roll with this and see if this will get off the ground at least. Because that's a lot more weight this time. Nothing is really known about this thing. Use it at your own risk. I like that idea! That's tiny looking though. I have to really learn. Man, this is the kind of game that makes you think and get all smart with intelligence. But no, I mean, I'm going to really have to learn this game because there's so many little things you have to pay attention to, which is really nice. Love a game like that. Nose cone. Will that fit? That fits perfect. Sweet! Let's go with that. Oh, it's all good, Gabe. We're just getting another launch going here in a second. 
Which may or may not work. Oh, we got two more little special guests in here. Oh, that's getting us up. Oh my. And that's definitely not stable. This is about to come crashing down in a horrible ball of fire in a second. Let's watch. This should be good. So, solid fuel. I apparently need solid fuel for those rockets. And bye bye. <laughs> Glorious, fabulous, wonderful, and violent. More action and drama. And more bloodshed, too. Well, that certainly didn't stabilize that well. Hmm. What can I put on here? I like those because those were getting those were getting it up. This might be interesting. I want to see if this thing is just gonna like what exactly it's gonna do. Get this, and now look at our hideous monstrosity. Multiple rockets, multiple jets, multiple wings. The more the merrier. No control. This vessel has no remote control or manual controlled modules. Who said I needed control? I just want to launch this thing. Hold on. Might be a bit of a problem here. That might have been what they were telling me. I need to, uh... Need to put someone in it. Is anyone dumb enough to get in here? What do we got? Well... Go to the astronaut complex. Lost. Four missing. Well, they're kind of dead. I forgot about that. You know what? Hold on. We're gonna add him. Courage and stupidity. That's what we need a lot of right now. In fact, I probably shouldn't actually... If I'm gonna kill these guys off, I shouldn't actually put so many of them in at once. We're only gonna put one in here. That's all we need. What I need is like a way of remote controlling this, so an output Kerbal's in here. Well, that's not gonna win. Well, I think I'm gonna save this guy before we kill him off, because I don't want to lose more Kerbals just yet. Okay, so... That certainly didn't seem to be stabilizing itself that well. <laughs> and then... This... here? Yeah. I think it works. Um, let's see what happens with this one. Okay, now that still doesn't seem that stable, and we're going and yeah, now we're just gonna kind of come crash and let's uh, revert that. At some point, I'm gonna find a way to remote control launch this. Okay, so at this point, yeah, let's go ahead and. I'm going to take these two off, and I'm going to find a way to instead mount some secondary rockets on the sides. Yeah, you know, we're just going to kind of do it this way. And we said this one was the big powerhouse. And this is definitely not quite lining up right, but whatever. Hopefully aerodynamically, it doesn't throw it off. The only bomb here is Metaton. <laughs> I am a bomb of fabulousness. Wait. Uh. That didn't work. Can we connect you again? There we go. That's better. That's glorious. Okay. Add another coupler for the bottom piece for the fuel tank. Okay, this is kind of on there. <laughs> I just love how it's just kind of wobbling. This is going to be fun to see how it does this. Well, structural, this certainly isn't. But well, we're going up. Mostly. Um. Oh, were we going to crash? I almost wanted to kind of let this go. See where we're going to end up. See ya, Thomas Kerbin. Let's zoom out for this. <laughs> and there were no survivors. <laughs> oh yeah, I think that that is, you know, I think that's going to be a great place to go ahead and leave off. After a number of glorious failures here, we have not really made any progress, but we've had a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> Death, destruction, 
And mayhem! I think that that is the best way to put this. Anyway, thank you for going ahead and joining me here today on this glorious adventure of mayhem and destruction. If you like the videos, if you like this, please go ahead and give it a like. Give it a comment, as you have all been doing many times here, and subscribe if you have not already. In the meantime, go ahead and raise your glass of whatever you're drinking in the air and have another one on Blaster Brewmaster. Love and peace, darlings. Love and peace. How will you put them in? Fiercely. You throw everything in the pot as hard as you can, including the box. It clanks against the empty bottle. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta! As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! Press C to stir. Stir harder! Harder! I'm stirring as hard as I can! Harder! <laughs> no, let me do it! <laughs> <laughs>